Hello and welcome, my name is Meeplus, they, she, he, and this is Literally Graphic. And today we are looking at an anthology that has been on my TBR for a while, namely Arctic Comics, edited by Nicholas Burns and published by Renegade Arts Entertainment in 2016. Content notes for hunting, RCMP propaganda, and sexual assault. Also, a preemptive apology that I will almost certainly butcher some of these names. A pretty diverse collection of stories, they cover a wide gamut of life in the North, from traditional stories to contemporary with a variety of art styles. That said, the overall style does remind me of European comics, which, according to the intro by Nicholas Burns, is what they were going for. Starting things off, we have Kiviak vs. Big B by Jose... Kusagak and Jermaine Arnaktiuk, both in which creators Jose was also a politician, a quote, born recounter, unquote, according to several sources. He worked for both the CBC and Inuit Broadcasting Corporation and helped standardize the syllabic writing system of Inuktitut. Jermaine is a well-known artist who works in lithographs, etching, and serographs. The next story was... On Waiting, by Michael Kusagak and Susan Thurston Shirley. The former is a well-respected Inuk children's writer, and the latter is a Detroit-born dual citizen who, as of the writing of her profile on the Polar Arts Group, had been living in Rankin Inlet, Nunavut, for 27 years. Thirdly, we have The Great Slow Pitch Massacre, Film Nord, and Sheldon the Sled Dog, by editor of the anthology, Nicholas Burns. To be honest, his were my least favorite entries. He apparently has also appeared in the first two Moonshot anthologies, where he is described as an author, storyboard artist, award-winning fine artist, and filmmaker. And to wrap things up, we have Blizzard House, which was written by Nicholas Burns, with art by George Freeman. George was one of the co-founders of Digital Chameleon, a coloring and inking studio based out of Winnipeg that has come up several times on this channel. Overall, a bit of a mixed bag, but I'm really glad I finally got to it. I think I'll settle on three out of five stars for now. Bye y'all, keep reading an organized and capitalist depression. And as always, Literally Graphic is created on land that should be given back to the traditional land holders which in this case is, to my knowledge, the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, Anishinaabe people, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Huron-Wendat Nation.